guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good and i'm back with another video but before that did you subscribe to my channel if you didn't then do it right away and also follow me on my instagram because i'm making a lot of interesting reels there as well so coming back to today's video uh, so basically i have done a video about mba versus msc before and i got amazing response for that video and people are asking a lot of doubts about other masters degrees as well so i thought so in this video i'm going to tell you guys eight important differences between mba and mim yeah without any delay let's get into the video firstly the full form of mba is masters of business administration and the full form of MIM is Masters in Management. So these are like full forms of MBA and MIM. You all know MBA, I'm sure about that, but there are a few people who don't know what is MIM. So that's the reason, you know, I'm just letting you know the full form of MIM. So coming to differences between these two, the first and major difference between these two is work experience, guys. Yes. So previously, I mentioned that you require work experience for MBA. So usually universities ask at least two years of work experience to do an MBA. Whereas for MIM, you can actually do it like without any work experience right after you graduate from your undergraduation or something like that. So this is like the main differentiator between these two. If you're someone who have like two, two or three years experience, you know, working in your field, and if you want to improve your skills, then MBA is really great choice for you guys. And if you're someone, you just finished your undergraduate and you want to learn, you know, you want to do masters, but you don't know a lot of it, then I think MIM is really a great option for you. So the next differentiator is age. Yes, guys. So you all know that, you know, MBA requires work experience. So usually the average age of an MBA student will be around 28 years uh, because, you know, as I mentioned earlier, they need to be experienced in their own field to do an MBA. So, th so you usually find people from 25 years of age to 32 years of age in your MBA. Uh, but you know it, it might vary you might find younger and older people as well but uh, very few and coming to MIM uh, it, you know you'll do this just right after your undergraduate so the average age is 23 and you'll find people from 21 to 25 uh, so you know that's the main differentiator uh, between MBA and MIM and the other important differentiator between MBA and MIM is the MBA is an ideal degree for people who want to take next step in their careers for example switching into different career fields or if you want to move into a job which pays you higher salary or even if you want to become more qualified uh, to do like leadership and management roles so this is the ideal degree for you guys on the other hand mim is for people who are just entering the job market you know for example if you just started the job or if you're from different field and if you want to learn more about like business management skills or a lot of skills around business and management i think this is the best degree for you guys because you're going to learn a lot of basics in these uh, degrees uh, the MIM and MSc so if you're someone who don't know much about business and management and if you're just starting to grow into that field then I think MIM is really a great degree for you guys before continuing the video I just quickly wanted to share with you guys a very important information and this is for the students who are coming to abroad to study Recently, I've been getting a lot of DMs asking about accommodation. I thought this will help a lot of you guys. Basically, due to PSW, there are a lot of international students who are coming to the UK. So it become even more difficult to find flats for rent for students. So that's the reason many students are not getting any flats for rent recently. Personally, when I came back to UK after my vacation in India for two months, you know, in, in December, I couldn't find a flat for almost two months, you know. I stayed in temporary accommodation for two months and it was a real struggle, guys. Trust me. I've seen a lot many people, you know, suffering from the same situation as well. But don't you worry, guys. I have a solution for you guys. It's Amber Student. Amber is a platform through which students can book their accommodations near their universities. As Southeast Asia's largest student accommodation provider, it is operational in 100 plus cities in Australia, Europe, UK and the US with more than 20,000 listings on their platform. With Amber students, you will have amazing experience, guys. You just need to go to their website and search for your accommodation according to your preferences. And then once you finalize it, 
they will help you around the clock and they also have amazing policies guys for example covid 19 policy where they are offering free cancellations and also you know relief from visa related uncertainties as well which is amazing right and finally once you're done you need not even worry about cumbersome paperwork you know lease agreements etc etc because they are going to take care of every single thing from start to end and then you know what you can actually view your accommodation even before coming to the uk through live viewing sessions as well isn't it amazing and this is the best option for you guys right now because you know i've stayed in student accommodation for almost two years and i thoroughly enjoyed my time there and it's now time for you guys to experience the same this is the best option for you guys because you know i've stayed in student accommodation for almost two years you all know that and i thoroughly enjoyed my time there and i think it's time for you guys to experience the same so please click on the link which i'll leave in my description box below and find your home away from home and the next important differentiator is of course salary so for mba you'll have previous work experience and you're more qualified than other people so that's the reason you'll be getting higher pay for example you're going to get around 50000 to 1 lakh dollars per annum approximately it's going to vary around those numbers and for mim uh, you'll be less qualified and you're just learning basics and you know you're you're new into market so that's the reason you're going to earn uh, around 18000 to 35000 dollars per annum yeah there's a huge difference because for example if you finish your mim and you work for 2 years, and then if you do an MBA then you're gonna get really higher salary so that's how it works and the next important differentiator is uh, in MBA you're gonna get like more of hands-on experience like you know you're gonna deal with a lot of uh, activities uh, work placements or you know in, or similar kind of stuff basically you're going to get a lot of practical experience uh, through MBA and coming to MIM, it's more like theoretical because you're learning basics. You're in a learning stage basically. So you're going to learn a lot instead of like, you know, practical experience. But with MBA, you already know the basics and all. So it's more like you're practicing all the skills which you know already. And the next one is uh, you all know what is MBA. But, you know, I know most of you all, you know, don't know about MIM because MBA is already like worldwide recognized. But whereas MIM is slowly growing popularity right now and i'm sure in few years it's going to be worldwide recognized as well but as of now it's just like you know growing popularity for mim so that's the difference between both of them as well and the next one is course duration well most of the mba degrees are for one year and you know maybe there are few universities who offer two years but majority it's going to be one year and coming to MIM, it's going to be two years for sure. Uh, and maybe there are very few universities, I guess, like who offers like three years course, but mostly it's going to be one and a half to like two years. And the next important uh, difference between these two is the types of jobs you get. So uh, as I mentioned earlier regarding your salary, so if you do an MBA, you're more qualified. So you know a lot of things. So that's the reason you're going to get like more mid-level jobs as you're going to uh, get like higher salaries. So you're going to target like mid-level jobs. But whereas MIM, you're just a learner. You're just entering the job market. So you're going to apply for entry-level jobs. So that's how you learn and, you know, build your career. So that's it, guys. These are like main differences between MBA and MIM. And I hope this really helps you guys to make a decision. Uh, I'm not saying like, you know, MBA is a great degree or MIM is a great degree. But then to actually decide like in which stage you are in. For example, if you're an undergraduate and if you want to learn more about business, then I think MIM is great choice for you guys. And if you're someone who know a lot about business and you already have like two or three years work experience, then I think MBA is really good option for you because you can really advance in your career and build your career so i'd really try to explain to you guys in a very simple terms and this is a really a brief video between the differences between mba and mim so i think this is really helpful for you guys if you have any more doubts please do let me know in the comment section below because i love to answer you all and also like if you want more these kind of videos and differences between any of the degrees please do let me know in the comment section below i would love to answer you all and also do not forget to check out amber students link in my description box below i'll be back with more videos bye guys